Hey guys, thanks for coming back to Hidden Valley Homestead. Oh, Easter weekend. The snow is melting quickly, but now we're in mud season. You guys have seen the last couple of videos with us doing the road repair out there. Yeah, mud season, it's, it is, I thought it was bad two weekends ago when I made that video. It is really bad now. Here, check it out. Welcome to Hidden Valley Homestead where my wife Olivia and I escaped the city to homestead our off-grid property in Idaho. This is our journey. So we're in April and uh, it's still pretty cold out. As you guys can see behind me, there's some, some snow. Um, it's melting everywhere. Well, let me flip you guys around, you guys can see. There's our teardown cabin. We're working on that, guys. We'll show you guys some, some progress on that in a second. But you can see, with all the snow that's here, when it drains, it drains down on the road. Huh. As you guys can see, the road is just an absolute mess. This isn't too bad here because it's sloped and it can drain. But you guys see a problem? Yeah. With all the snow that's still out here, it's still, it's still too cold to uh, not have a fire going in the house. So we're still bringing wood in. If you guys haven't seen my Starlink installation where I buried the cable, guys, check that video out. That was that was a fun video. Show you guys how to pull cable. But uh, yeah, I have a customer that uh, needed some rock. So I was trying to get the dump trailer all squared away, get it pulled out from its parking spot. And I slid off the little hill right there and she stuck. So gonna have to get the skid steer out but you can see this is just a mucky mire right here and the road up there isn't much better I did get one trailer out earlier I got one trailer out but you can see where my tires were spinning right here yeah All right, well, this time of year, what's good to have with you at all times, if you're gonna be driving through this. Toe strap. Gonna need the toe strap and shackles on the other side. Yeah, this'll be interesting. Oh man. All right, guys, so I put this move bumper on. If you guys haven't seen that video where I welded up my own bumper, go check that out. But I've got an update to this thing. Not super happy. If you guys can see, it's really tight right there, and it's not there. It's because the brackets that uh, it's holding on to are bent, and that's not that shouldn't be that way. They should have made some reinforcement for these things. Now I'm going to pull on this right here, and it's going to probably be bended even further. So... But it is what it is. Yeah, moving from the city, the concrete jungle, where our biggest complaint are the potholes, to this. If you want to go off grid, be prepared. lovely assistant she's out there making sure her burn pile is doing good that burn pile yesterday was almost as big as that one she burned it all up that one's too wet oh good are right, you ready to do this yep okay so I'm just gonna put it in reverse have you back up that way you can see what's going on yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna put the shackle right here on the arm. Yeah. And then you can just back up. That way you can see when you put the tension on there. Okay. And then you don't bounce it. Back? Yeah, just go straight back. We're gonna go straight up. You're gonna go straight up that hill okay. until I get my tires up on some of that dry ground right there, okay. or dry-ish. Okay. And then, uh, yeah. Maybe you can watch me this way.
You like running this thing? Yeah, it's pretty good. Different? Yeah, it's fun. Did you ever expect you'd be doing this? No. Nope. You know, our friend today, he said he thought that you work in your dad's construction business. Yeah. Really? I'm like, no, no, she just, she's learning with me. She's helping me. He's like, oh, <laughs> I thought you were a, an operator. <laughs> but you are I now. <laughs> yeah, you are good. I know what I'm doing. All right. So I thought you'd come forward. All right, guys, yeah, Olivia has learned to run this equipment pretty awesomely, thankfully. So if you're gonna do this off green thing, it's so much easier when you have a good partner. All right, that was no big deal like I thought. I just slid off the side a little bit and couldn't get any traction to get off this little incline here, but uh, I gotta get this up next to the cabin to get the battery charger on for the dump trailer. I had a customer I couldn't help today because my battery was dead. It's the whole point of trying to dig this thing out of the mud. Of course, the doggies love it. They love being outside no matter what the weather is. Snow, rain, mud, sleep. Yeah. This machine has been a lifesaver. Don't move. Yeah, she likes that thing. <laughs> All right, all good. What's this? What's this? Oh, it's a broken seal. All right, I gotta get a uh, battery charger on there. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. Welcome to mud season. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, it is no joke. Um, in many ways, it's worse than the snow and the ice. It really is because. When the snow and ice is here, the road base underneath is frozen. But this mm -hmm. this clay, I've never seen it this slimy before. This is it's mud bogging. So look forward to some videos this spring of uh, us repairing the road. It's 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 going to be coming. So happy Easter, everybody! See you guys on the next video.